What's up guys, Garrett here with Self Taught Dev. Today I just wanted to do a quick little video on what like systems we use at work. Um, like Basecamp, WordPress, Microsoft, Team Chat. Um, I think those are pretty much it, but I just want to kind of show you what I do on a daily basis. So first one here, um, we'll just start off with Basecamp. This is kind of like where I get all my tasks of like what I need to do for the day. Um, this is like my plate, I guess you can say. Um, so this is basically what I've got to do tomorrow. So a little bit of a busy day, but Marvin, my like the head of the dev department, uh, will basically just send me tasks and I click on it. Um, it's kind of got a list of like who's touched it. Like this is the designer. He made this page and then he hands it off to the dev department and then we build it out. And on this one, um, I built it out, but the client we're building it for didn't like this line right here so we had to do a little redesign on it and we're basically just going with a gray on the right side and then yeah basically just gonna make it look like that instead so I'm basically just removing that white line and moving some stuff around but um, they've got like the file path for where the designs at on our server and I'll pull it up in Photoshop which I, I don't really want to pull it up but yeah, I'll pull it up in Photoshop and that'll let me pull any images I need. Like I can pull off this hero image and basically build the website based off of the PSD file. Uh, next thing we use is WordPress. This is what we build all of our websites on. We use a theme called Infold. I'm not really too sure what all it does. I think it's basically just like our base CSS. Um, but when I, let's say I got a new website, I click on new page. Um, I can name the page, switch to the advanced layout editor and then I can kind of just drag and drop stuff where I need it to be. Um, so like color section, that's you can think of that as like a div. You can think of each of these boxes as a div, pretty much. Um, and these, you can adjust the size. So like with this, I'll have two columns that are equally spaced out. Um, and then we can put some text in here and then an image element in here. And we can just go, um, WordPress templating test and save it and then we can throw an image up here can upload images right there or we can just use what we've got on the uh, server already and then if we just preview this boom um, now as you can see it's not like super pretty because you still gotta apply a lot of CSS to get it looking right um, but I mean it it's got all the CSS from the header I built and the footer down here. You can set those up in a section on WordPress so they get applied to every page. And then all you've got to worry about is the main content. Uh, let's see here. So the CSS stuff, what does that look like? So this is our main CSS file. A lot of this, um, not a lot, I'd say like, how big is this? Let's see. Maybe like a fourth of that, or a fourth to a half of that comes from like, our base, no, it's gotta be like a fourth. Yeah, a fourth of that comes from like our base stuff. Like we'll have like H2, H3, H4 with like our base font size. Um, we'll have like lightweight and heavyweight. So you can just add e either one of those classes on if you need to make it bolder or lighter. Um, it's got, I had to do most of that stuff. Uh, it's got some like basic stuff for the forms in here as well. But a lot of it you've got to build when you're building the website. So I had to do most of this for the Stetson page. Uh, my CSS is probably still garbage. So it's really inefficient. But And then there's these keyframe animations for one of the pages I had to do. Check this out. So this is a little SVG and it kind of draws in as you scroll down the page. And that's fucking awesome. And then it stops at the bottom. Boom. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much what we use WordPress for. Um, you can basically just go to the pages, template out the page, and then go to the CSS file and make it look how you need it to. So templating makes everything way easier, but you still got to use a lot of CSS to get it looking the way you want it to. Uh, what else do I need to show you on here? See posts, that's where all the blogs are. I don't really deal with those. That's more of our like designers and copywriters. Um, try digital, that's like our child theme for it. You can just hear my cat 
meow in the background. And then this is um, basically Microsoft Teams lets us chat back and forth. Yeah, he wants attention, if you can't tell. But yeah, you can kind of, it's great on Fridays when you're working from home, you just kind of need to be in contact with the team and ask questions or see what's going on. I think that's about it. Um, I mean, like I said, we use Power, uh, not PowerPoint, uh, Photoshop, and we're starting to use XD. Uh, I guess I can show those real quick too. Let's see, Photoshop. So it used to be our, our designers would be, uh, make the designs in Photoshop. They're starting to use XD. I guess it's a little bit easier to. Ah oh man, I'm signing my personal account, so I'm not gonna not gonna show that. That's too much work. But yeah, our designers basically make the design in Photoshop, and then they'll send it to us, and that'll let us grab the images off it and kind of do what we need to do to get the site built. But yeah, uh, it's pretty much it, I think. So if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below and check this video out real quick. It's kind of awesome. So he walks in, Jax, quit moving stuff. And then after seven seconds, it switches to another video and he just kind of, ah, oh, you can see it jump. Dang it, I gotta fix that. But you can just see him, he kind of just moves and it's just like a loop, but it's awesome. But yeah, like I said, uh, leave a comment if you need anything else and I will see you next time. Peace.